Hey guys, this is Shannon with Nearly Organic Noshing, and it is the week of 4th of July, and we're doing things a little bit different this year. Uh, normally, we are on vacation with the kids. Uh, usually, we are in Steenhatchy scalloping, or we're on a camping trip, or something along those lines, but this year, the kids are getting older, and everyone kind of went their separate directions. Um, Trevlin is actually in Steenhatchy scalloping with friends this week and Jaden had to work this week and he really wanted the extra hours and the overtime so he is working in addition he is doing chores at the house he is doing painting for us on his day off because Chris and I went to camp um, we saw the opportunity to get a lot of things done at our off-grid camper that needed to be done so we are here this week working on the camper and um, in addition to it being 4th of July week I thought it would be kind of cool to show the camper because we have a patriotic camper. The whole theme of the camper is 4th of July. It's all red, white, and blue, very all-American, very patriotic. So. I will show you guys around some and I will also make sure to link the tour of the camper um, that I have done in the past. This week is just about chores and projects. So a few of the things we had to get done is the tub had a crack in it. So Chris worked on that and I'll make sure to include that. I'll be sure to include clips of any of the projects we're working on. In addition to the camper projects, we're just going to enjoy a weekend together with good friends and of course our dogs. Um, we like to take them down to a local water hole and let them play and we'll be sure to include clips of that in addition to some fireworks and having uh, meals with our friends. Mugs! Come, come! Mugs, come! We discovered that the camp tub um, had a crack in it and it appeared that someone had attempted to uh, repair it before but it was not a very good job of a repair. So Chris is working on it. Um, he took away all the old epoxy and he um, drilled the holes so that it wouldn't crack any further. He filled underneath the tub with all expanding foam, give it a little more support, and then he's going to be fiberglassing the tub, and then we just have a mat to go over it so you won't see the patch. But this is one of the projects we're working on this weekend. guys, I am working on um, a few things for dinner. Tonight we are hosting it at camp and uh, we have two and a half racks of ribs in the refrigerator that we've already smoked. And I have mac and cheese going in another cast iron pot um, up on the oven right now. And I am working on baked beans. I've got the onions and the bacon that I'm working on. And then once it's all ready, I'll have them in the pans and they can just go in the oven a little bit later to heat up. And uh, I'm just going ahead and getting this done so that it'll be ready to go along with dinner tonight. What?
I got hit by something too. Yeah, one came over here. One way to get a new bike. Yeah. You need better shoes. Yeah, I wouldn't be doing that in Cross. Yes. <laughs> oh, crap. Whoa. I've got you. That's that. <laughs> yeah. Further out, to tie it on. I wonder if I 
throw the damn thing over right here. Yeah. Hey, Jack, if you... Come on, keep going. Uh, you'll never get a perfectly hot little prop from throwing it. Well, if I can throw... Throw it. Hey, do you want to use your brother to throw it? No, I got it. Too long, huh? No, no, it's not too long. We need to cut it. Well, we can always cut it. I would have just stood right here and tied a rock to it and thrown it over the wind. Come on, Jay, you're climbing. Yeah, dude, it's skinnier than I thought. It's not working. Remove your bike. I already thought about that before. Going to fight. Make sure if he hits it, it'll break his fall. <laughs> I'm over here. See, that's why I moved from the chair. <laughs> no, no way with that other branch over his head there. God damn. That was pretty good. That's not bad right there. Break that branch out of there. Once I get it over, I'm gonna get a little bit of a Whoa! Whoa! That's actually pretty good. Yeah, that's not a bad spot. I think it's too far out. You'll swing out and hit the other bank. Oh, usually we swing this way on it. More than Which way? This way. Yeah. One more time. Yeah. It's a little knock right here. Did you get over that one? Yeah. Hold on, I might be able to flip it over it. Hold on. Do you get that from it? Can you reach this? Yes. This? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Which way? Which way do you want it? That way. You're going right. Yeah, One, Jack. just give it a, a flip One, up. One, two, three. Okay, right. don't do yours. Don't do yours. Jack, throw it over the tree. This one, and let it. Go ahead. Go on, now help and shimmy it to the other one. Yeah. Oh, that was a good one. Right, right, give yes. me a little more slack. Oh, absolutely. Give me a little slack. Give me some slack on the other side of that little branch. All right, that's good. That, that'll do it. Yeah, oh, look there. at that. Yay! Now, how we, I don't think you got enough. Right, but Jack, Pull it towards you. you. Pull it back up. Make yourself a loop where you can throw it over. Well, if I give him the, the rope. He can run it through the, the loop. Branch. You gotta get him this side of the okay, branch. Okay, 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 okay. Here you go. Don't take any more, Chris. Don't take any more. Whoa! Yeah, but I don't think this ain't gonna get him down. Long. You need to pull in it, like Perry said. Pull it up. Make a ball and then throw it and over. Then you got more weight on your end. Yeah, make the ball. Make the ball and throw it over.
No, just one. double it through. And then pull it off. Well, the problem is when you pull them, they twist all up as you're pulling the knot up there. We I could. Mean, I'm saying if you just pull it through. I mean? yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. If I do that, usually this rope twist and it's all knotted up. Try it. But we can try it. Make sure you pull this. Yeah. Are you gonna want it there? Where do you want it? I don't right know. There. Right on that. On that. I think it's a good spot. There's a hook here. It won't slip. Yeah, if it slides down, it slides down. No big deal. It won't go past. Here. Get Lucky up there. Lucky, come here. Lucky, come. Lucky. 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 It's gonna get a little shorter when you tie it anyway. Get it, Mike. Get it. Get in the water. See, I do usually get another tie. Same tie. Oh, Okay, we just need to touch it. Don't worry, I always show you a foot. No, leave that on so you can grab it. It's a lot of it. Alright, Kyle's so done dragging the water now. Want a knife? Just tie it up to, yeah. uh, tie it up to another knot. Hey, I want to help you. That can be dangerous, though. Huh? That can be dangerous like that because you can get hung up in the extra loop.
That's a turbo candy in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at him, he's hanging, babe. Come on, Mace, you want to play too? Didn't have a winch? Oh. You're about to have a winch? Yeah, I've done him any better when they're facing the wrong way. Oh, okay. I thought their friends went down. Uh, Let's go, get a little. Get a little. Okay. Oh, he's going to take Macy out. Wait. <laughs> get it, get it. Go, get it. Get it, go, get it. Go, get it. Macy, she's bigger than you. Macy, no. Macy, Macy, no. Did I mention I was on the swim team? What you looking for, Muggs? Huh? And she'll stay there for hours. Yeah, I was going to say, Chloe's found something she loves. I get home, at, when I get home, I take my shirt off and I'll pull it tight. Right here. Here. Take it off. Put it on my shirt. She's like, shake it in the hell. Come on. Come on. Good girl, Good girl. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on. What? Macy. 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 No. Yeah, she's pretty damn strong. Chloe will eat you. Might not last forever. You leave that dog here. Now I have it on the front door of the camper, but I may end up moving it somewhere inside um, just so that it will last a little longer because I really like the bandana print look. This is going to be the dog run area for our dog behind the camper. We have the generator back here and we're going to be putting in a doggy door with a ramp so that the dogs can come out here in the middle of the night and um, and go to the restroom without us having to come out and watch them. We're just taking paddle panels and cutting them and then Chris is putting in T-posts here and here and they'll have little hooks on the end so they can just hook. And then we cut paddle panels to go underneath so the dogs won't be able to go under the camper. And uh, they'll be able to just come and go out here as they please when when we're not here to let them out or it's in the middle of the night. By having the cattle panels just hooking to the fence and to the poles on each side, it allows them to swing flat and open the space up so that we can bring a mower back here or a weed eater. And if we're not here, um, we'll have the gate uh, open so that someone can drive behind it with a mower 
and it'll be a semi-permanent structure so something that we could easily take down if we needed to and it'll keep you know the dogs in or other dogs there's other dogs here it'll keep them from coming in to our dog in the back and right over here where the outlet is where we're going to be putting our doggy door with a ramp Macy has a hip that sometimes gives her a little bit of trouble, so we want it to be easy access for her to come in and out, and the doggy door will just go directly into our bedroom. So at night, if the dogs need to go out, we can just open the doggy door and let them out. No one has to even get out of bed, pretty much. And they can come out, go to the potty, and uh, come right back in. So that is why we are doing this. I mean, they do have all of this area but we don't necessarily want them doing that where they might chase a deer or a possum or something in the middle of the night. I was going to try and take pictures of the camper and video when the camper was super clean. But every time, just like that, <laughs> every time I start filming, I get interrupted. And every time I clean up, um, a mess is made. So like these guys, I just swept the bed and swept the floor like 10 minutes ago. And it's already a mess. And we are puppy sitting. I have an extra one right here. That's Whiskey. And Macy, she's keeping her distance. So it is raining outside right now, so we're going to be working on some inside projects, but um, I'm doing dinner right now. I've got the grill under the cover out front, and I have burgers on the grill. I have fries in the oven, um, and we have watermelon and other fruit to go along with it. So I'll just show a little bit around. Um, again, our camper is patriotic. I found a bunch of these little signs, like from Hobby Lobby and things like that and have these around the camper um, along with pictures. These are all pictures that I have taken when we've been at camp um, with the dogs and the kids and one of our family pictures. I have all of this um, blue enamel plates and I absolutely love them. I got these for my birthday, I believe. Um, and they are patriotic cups, but they're rubber, so uh, you can't break them if you drop them. So, like I said, things are not perfect. <laughs> it's a bit messy, um, but we're going to be putting a knife rack here and so that I can hang all the knives right there. And our patriotic bread box, which is a little bit messy there, too. Um, this has just worked really well to corral everything. And uh, I'll show you what the bathroom looks like. Picked up a new towel for in here. Watch out, guys. Watch out. Macy, nice. So this is our patriotic shower curtain. And we have our towels and stuff over here, which this is getting ready to get moved over here to make it easier accessibility. Well, we are on our way home from a long weekend at camp. Dogs are loaded up in the back seat and the four wheelers are on the trailer. It is really hot. <laughs> it is in the 90s and we are just all loaded up. Chris is doing a double check on the straps uh, before we get on the interstate. And I'll make sure and in try and include as many clips as I can of what we did around the camper this weekend. Hope everyone else had a wonderful 4th of July.